Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kennedy, what, what do you feel like will be different for your personal experience, you know, having made it to the final game last year, coming into this tournament? Like, what, what will you maybe appreciate more or do differently or anything like that? Um, I think we're definitely preparing ourselves a little bit different, um, a little bit more. Um, we're just trying to do whatever we can to uh, enhance our chances. Um, we know, like you said, we know last year was a little rough for us. Um, we fought all the way back that entire game, and to lose in the last second shot um, is a disappointment, but it still gives, a conf gives us confidence. Um, so let us know that we still have some fight in this, and we still have an opportunity to um, be a great team in this tournament. And we got to take it one, one game at a time. And um, like I said, man, it's a great opportunity for us. And I think uh, the coaches definitely prepared us. For the long run. What did you guys learn from Brooklyn? Uh, we learned that uh, we can't take games lightly. Um, I know we keep saying that, but uh, Duke is a great team. Um, they're coached by a great coach, and I think um, we missed out on some opportunities that we could have capitalized on. And uh, we kind of needed Joel in that game uh, for his um, presence, his defensive presence on on the ball with Frank Jackson and Grayson. So um, when he picked up his fourth foul, um, you can tell that things kind of went downhill for us, but uh, we can't use that as an excuse. We're still a team. It's a team sport, and we got to pull together. So um, I think the, the leadership has to be a little better for our team. What one or two ways are you guys better right now than you were this time a year ago going into the tournament? Say that one more time. In what, maybe one or two ways are you guys better as a team than you were this time last year going into the tournament? Uh, I think as far as um, <clears throat> playing together, um, I think we kind of last year depended on Marcus and Bryce to kind of get things done for us, opposed to everybody. Um, I feel like everybody has something to bring to the table, whether it's Tony, Luke, like you saw in the um, second Duke game here. Those guys did a great job of coming off the bench and giving us a boost. So um, everybody's capable of having a great night, and uh, that's better for our team because, I mean, everybody can't be on one at the same time. And if it is, and that's one of the best games we ever played. So I think that. Uh, like I said before, just our team effort um, is going to be better, I think. What's been the atmosphere around the team the past few days since losing against Duke? Right now? Uh, you got to keep a smile on your face because we still accomplished some great things, and we're a number one seed. Um, usually if you lose that um, tournament, you're not going to be a number one seed or um, high or, or whatever it may be. So I think – uh, the biggest thing that we took away from watching the selection show at Coach's house is uh, being grateful, but at the same time know that we um, had a great body of work this entire season from the wins that we did have. And uh, we have to take advantage of um, the games that we can in this tournament, which is taking a game by game and listening to detail. That's the most important thing. And I think if we do that, then we'll be fine. How many times has it come up the past few days that past UNC teams have lost in the semifinals of the ACC and gone on to I mean, you hear about it. Like I said before, man, that's what they did. We can't um, depend on <laughs> what they did and use it now. We have to um, address our own um, selves. So we have to uh, come together as a team. Uh, practice is important for us these next couple of weeks. Um, taking care of our bodies is important to us. And the rest is take care of yourself. I think, like I said before, man, God's already <laughs> written out what's going to happen. We just got to enjoy the ride. Kennedy, there have been several games this year where the opponents have been able to limit what you and Isaiah have done in the mm -hmm. post. Duke did it last 10, 12 minutes on, on Friday. Has there been a kind of a consistent theme with what happens and what needs to happen to make sure that doesn't occur? I think me and Isaiah just have to continue to be aggressive in those situations. I think we were kind of passive. Uh, we definitely um, passed the ball more than maybe we should have when we had open shots or whatever it may be, and that's just a part of trying to get Joel and Justin into the game, which is what we need. And um, like I said, if we if we would have went back, I think we would have definitely did a, more, a better job of attacking the basket even more in the second half because they had a game plan, which was um, on the first dribble, bringing a guy over and trying to double team us. So um, I would say that's the only thing that we would change. But uh, going forward, I think me and Isaiah just have to um, remember the same feeling that we did last year in this tournament. and. Um, it wasn't a great one, so we have to take advantage of that and really be aggressive this entire time. Coach Williams suggested you weren't 100% down the stretch there. Is, it, is the knee something that has developed 
Uh, I think it's um, aches and pains. I mean, that's a part of the season, and um, I think I'm a college vet at this point. So um, him holding me out of practice is nothing surprising. I don't think. Um, so just a little aches and pains, and whatever you think is best for her, for me is it is what it is. I mean, it's just his program, his team. Um, so I'm not going to argue with that at all. It's just what do you want to do? What was it like yesterday being with Mark Zuckerberg? Oh, yeah, it was pretty sick, dude. It was uh, <laughs> it was definitely a great experience for me because, I mean, I like talking and um, he likes talking. So that was definitely good. And he answered a lot of questions, good questions that um, could be helpful for this team and his work ethic and, I mean, his start at Facebook and those type of things. So it was cool to, to – have a $57 billion shit in the room. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, uh, what would you say like, was the main takeaway from that, or like, the main lesson you learned from that experience? Uh, well, first of all, he came to ask us questions. It wasn't like, it wasn't like, but, it, but the main thing is uh, definitely stick to your dream. Um, well, I learned that it wasn't his dream to start Facebook. It was just an idea that him and his friends had in the dorm room, and um, it just so happened to, grow and grow and I think that's the biggest thing is sticking with the plan and um, learning from your mistakes because it's going to happen and like you said nobody's perfect yesterday so um, learning from your mistakes and, and being the best you can. Back to your health real fast you said a lot this season one of the differences <coughs> that you felt that you were healthy yeah. uh, how much is some of the aches and pains you just alluded to kind of affecting you at this point your, your, your plan? I don't think it's affected me at all really to be honest with you um, I think I mean, if coach sees that I'm tired or something, then um, that may be a reason. Or, uh, I mean, I set out a couple of practices um, just to protect me and just to make sure that I'm fine. And uh, so I, th I think that I'm fine. I think that it won't limit me at all because I do rehab every day, every single day, as much as I can. And um, I have a machine at home that I use um, to make sure my, my legs and stuff are good. So I'm, I'm, pr I'm pretty much on top of um, that and that aspect. And I, I don't think it'll bother me at all. And I know you guys are preparing for Texas Southern, and that's your focus right now. But if you go back to Sunday night or even Monday when you see Duke on the other side of the bracket, does it pop in your head at all that you guys might both end up in Phoenix? No? No, I don't really care about that. I think, like I said before, we got to take um, our games one game at a time. If they make it there, then we'll talk about that then. But our main focus right now is Texas Southern, and that's, that's all that really matters. Now that you're focused on Texas not to be Southern. rude or anything, I didn't <laughs> I didn't mean that in a rude way at all. Now that you're practicing, you're focused on Texas Southern. But was there a time on Sunday after the brackets came on, you started looking at your bracket and saying Kentucky, UCLA, <coughs> Butler, and, and and look at the teams that are in there with you and kind of play it out in your mind? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I know UCLA and Kentucky gonna have to play each other <laughs> before um, possibly playing us. So um, I think that. Like I said, man, all we can really do is focus one game at a time because you can see in the past this season where we overlooked the team and we end up losing that game, and that would be absolutely terrible. So I, I think we're trying to stay as far away from that as possible. Right. We'll get <coughs> coach in here in a second.